You see this word predestination. We're gonna talk about it slowly and nice. Yeah. The word pre mean before. Destination mean, mean after. Right? Yes, predestination. Predestined. Previous. Preview. Yes, tell me yes. So whatever happened in our life as a human being some people believe that it was predestined for it to happen for argument's sake a man drive down the road and crash they say that was his destiny it was pre-booked for him it was pre-arranged for him it's not a coincidence and what i'm gonna do people i'm gonna examine some texts from the bible and see whether or not Predestination is really how people put it, or you can actually walk into something or walk away from something, depending on the road you take. Right? To take for argument's sake, now a boy born in a wicked neighborhood, he grows up undisciplined. He learns to do evil things. The parents have trouble with him at school. He gets into difficulty. It seems this boy can't be good. He fight, he still finally he's sent to a reform school. Despite the infliction of all kind of punishment, he has no desire to be good. Years later, this boy become a leader of a criminal gang. Years later, he become a leader of a criminal gang. How do you account for this boy life of complete wickedness? Some people will say he was a victim of circumstances, but others will say he was predestinated by God to be bad. Is God responsible for his sin? The word of God says in the Bible, Romans 5.19, For as by one man disobedient, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one, shall many be made righteous. Wow. People want to see what I go on. For by, the, by one man disobedient, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one, shall many be made righteous. This is in reference to Jesus Christ. Right? Mm -hmm. The fact that many were made sinners referred to everyone born into this world. And Romans 5.12 can look at it God has not predestined anyone to a life of sin God could not do this and at the same time be man propitiation according to 1st John 2 verse 12 so now loving people the big major question I'm gonna ask you was Judas predestined to deliver Christ to be crucified Matthew 18 verse 7 it said woe unto the world because of offenses for it must need be that offenses come but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh talking about predestination right here and truly the son of man go it as it was determined but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. This is Luke 22 verse 22. Alright. Talking about predestination loving people. Note. Yahshua appealed to Judas. Our Christ appealed to Judas not to betray him. He did not have to be the one. Huh? Does the Bible speak of predestination? Let us find out. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose, from whom he did foreknow, he did what foreknow, this is predestination, you know? he also did predestinate to be confronted to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren, Romans 8. 28 and 29 people notice this some inquire if God knows whether I will be saved or lost why bother trying to be a good person or a Christian 
and God foreknow from the beginning. Okay? The answer is simple this. While God knows, because He is omniscient, we do not know the future. Hence, we each must exercise our right of choice and choose either to accept or reject God's grace. God for knowledge never interfere. This is the reason, you know, with man's free choice. Those whom God foreknew, He predestinated. Wow. In as much as God foreknow all. And since He predestinated our plan that all would become like His Son, this is evident that God predestinated none to be lost. But you not tell them night and day, you know, I say in life. A child born naked, innocent, and humble. As that child go along, that child learn habit. That child learn things, and the thing is that two roads are in front of every human being. And whichever road you take, that leads to somewhere. If you take the road which leads to destruction, you're gonna be destroyed. If you take the road that the road that leads to everlasting life, you will be safe. Simple as that. If I just become 19 years old, you start to drink alcohol, you start to take all kind of things in your body, you're going to die early. If you started to be a gunman shooting and killing and doing things, you're going to die early. If you be a decent person, eat the right food, do the right thing, chances are you will live longer. Within, within that, you have some things where you cannot see like accident and all them stuff. Thing. Or a man stop you at the wrong place at the wrong time and all of them things. You understand me? So it's two roads in front of you. And each road have a destiny. And whichever road you take. Talking about predestination right here. God could look ahead and know who he elect, who the elect would be. And you can find that in 1 Peter 1, verse 2. Read the first part. The elect were predestinated to salvation only upon the condition of obedience. When Israel failed, I said, when Israel failed to obey, even though predestined to be saved, God did not cast them entirely away. Because Paul himself was an Israelite, according to Romans 11, 7, 11, 1, verse 7. How many does God want to be saved? God's word said in the Bible, I exhort therefore that first of all supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men not so many not for all men for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God and Savior who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the foreknowledge of the truth or of the truth have a look brothers at 1 Timothy 2 1 3 and 4 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 read verse 3 and 4 and you can have a look at 2 Peter 3 verse 9. Bible again. What is the key to predestination? For all. For as in Adam all die. Even so in Christ shall all be made alive. 1 Corinthians 15 22. It is the family which is predestined rather than the individual. Adam family is predestined to die. Christ's family is predestined to live. Two ways are marked out in Romans 5.18. It's not till earlier on. Okay. Adam offense brought death. Whereas the gift of Christ. Righteousness justify and give life. How does a person become a member of, a family, of the family of God? 1 John 1 verse 12. But as many as receive him. To them gave he power. To become the son of God. Or sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Lord of mercy, good, good people, we're not saying. What are Christians predestined to be? What are Christians predestined to be? In whom also we have obtained an inheritance in predestined according to the purpose of the counsel of his will. Having predestined us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Ephesians 1 verse 11 
people. Listen good. Christ adopt those who don't into his family who accept him. Therefore, they are predestined to receive an inheritance if they remain faithful in God's family. This is made possible by Christ's death. Read Ephesians 2 verse 1 and 2. Look at 12, 13 and Ephesians 3 verse 6. Who can be saved? John 3 16 have the answer. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Wherefore, you rather bridge and give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. For so an entrance shall be minister unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior. This is 2 Peter 1 10 and 11. In conclusion, I want to say to you eternal life is dependent upon your decision. What will you do with this message? In one of the parables, Jesus said, Many are called, but few are chosen. Matthew 22 14. All who received the invitation to the wedding were predestined to eat of the feast, but they chose not to come to the wedding. When they decided to come, they were given a wedding garment. One man at the feast refused the wedding garment and was cast out. The wedding garment and was cast out. The wedding garment which fits us for the entrance into the wedding feast is Christ's kingdom. In Christ's kingdom is Christ's righteousness. When you choose Christ, you are choosing life. So, the truth is, people, whatever decision, whatever you've done throughout your life, that determines what the outcome of your life is going to be. So, we're talking about predestination. We use some Bible texts because we know it is impossible for us to talk here about some things and don't have a source or evident. Good afternoon. Bless up on a good, good self. Love on a.